What's up guys? You probably found this video because you're interested in wrapping a car and it's probably the first wrap you've ever done. We're nearly done wrapping this Porsche and it's the first car we've ever done. We certainly learned a lot and we're here today to show you some of the tips and tricks we learned to hopefully make your first wrap a lot easier. Okay, Trav and I have finally gotten the whole box wrapped. Now, the next part is trimming, which again, takes a ton of patience. It's gonna take just as much time as it took you to wrap the car. You wanna be very careful and not cut off too much material. Always remember that this material does shrink with heat, so we're gonna show you how to heat it up beforehand to minimize the amount of shrink, but when it goes out into the sunlight and bakes under some hot sun, it'll shrink as well. So make sure that every cut is a little longer than you think it should be. Now, with that being said, one of the first things you need to do is clean the place that you're gonna be laying the material. If it's a wheel well or something, clean it diligently. Use the isopropyl alcohol, then use something like the Rapid Tack, and that should be cleaned at the beginning because if you use Rapid Tack now to clean on the inside of this box to lay it, it's gonna get the vinyl wet and that will get rid of the adhesive. You don't wanna do that. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to heat it properly and then I'm gonna show you how to actually stick it and cut it. So, let's get to heating. Okay, for this one, guys, what we're gonna wanna do is heat up the material. You can see it's all crinkly. That doesn't matter since it's mostly gonna be cut off under, but heat it up and stretch it kind of like that balloon and then go under and you wanna stick it about an inch. So we heat, heat, heat. You get it pretty warm, okay? And then you take it and you stretch and go under about an inch. And then you take your squeegee and just push it up against. What that did is it activated the adhesive. So now it's back there at least an inch so that then when we go to cut it, boom, it's like that. Again, you don't want any water or contaminants, any dirt or anything, because that will not let the adhesive stick and you only get one shot at that. So. Again, clean thoroughly. I can't stress that enough, obviously. Okay, so first thing you need to do is activate the adhesive one more time. Dude, Brad, there's a there's a So you're spider. just gonna put that Brad, where? There's there's a, like literally above your head. Ah! Dude, Dude, what the f First thing you wanna do is heat it up. Get it blistering hot. And that'll activate the adhesive. And then with your squeegee, where my squeegee is, you then Want to hit it and really push it up against. It doesn't matter what it looks like because it's not going to be shown. And the last thing is take that sharp knife and you want to do it as clean as you can. So about a half inch to an inch. And you want to just slide it along. And again, you can just score it. Or in this case, we don't really care too much about this box. You cut it and then peel it off. And you can tell that looks a lot nicer than what we had going on before. So that's how you finish it if you're doing a ski box or any other lips or anything like that. Right here is a handle. Now you can't push the vinyl in, so instead what we're gonna have to do is cut just along the outside. Now if you score the vinyl rather than put the, the razor down super hard on it, you actually won't cut anything under it. So that's why you always wanna have a super sharp Razor. First thing we're gonna wanna do, again, the vinyl shrinks. We're gonna heat it up, and then we're gonna cut just along the outside edge so there, there's a small couple millimeters of vinyl. Okay, so I heated her up. Now I'm gonna take the plastic side of the squeegee and really push it down, and you can see how I'm getting it all the way in. Oh. And again, you're working with vinyl, so you can press pretty hard and you're not gonna damage anything. Now, next thing is I'm gonna take the razor and cut just on the outside. And this is pretty tough to do. You gotta have a smooth hand. If we did it correctly, you won't even be able to tell where the vinyl ends and where the handle begins. So there, we got that. And now I would take the plastic side again because it leaves a little bit of the vinyl up and I push it down into that as much as possible. Two, 
All right, so the final tip we have for you guys is to post heat your vinyl. So after you've done all your trimming, everything is completely done, you're gonna heat the vinyl up pretty hot. Vivid Vinyl says at 90 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when the vinyl will for, will go back, it uses its memory function, it'll, it'll smooth all this kind of stuff out. So somewhere, probably around 90 degrees is what you're aiming to do. What that does is it fully activates the adhesive and makes sure you get a really, really good bond. All right guys, there you have it. Those are all the tips and tricks that we wish we would have known before we vinyl wrapped this car is our first car ever. Hopefully you found this video super helpful. Let us know in the comments if you know any other tips or tricks that we missed out on.